How's it going? This is Paul Bauer with BauerVersusWild.com and I wanted to give an updated review of the Hawk Peregrine 2.0 knife. Um, I've had a little bit more time to, to mess with it and customize it a little bit. Uh, one of the things I did, because um, I mentioned in the original post that it uh, didn't, didn't work very good with, with a ferro rod. So, um, let me move in a little closer here. I actually took a, a a mechanical grinder, ground down. I don't know if you can see that very good. Ground down the back a little bit to make a better edge for a ferro rod striker. And uh, also, um, I did notice that it's a little bit harder to sharpen, but it uh, it's not it's not impossible if you have the right sharpening tools. Um, one thing I really like, one thing I really like is this uh, sheath because it has this big extra pocket in it. So in my pocket I put a, a ferro rod in it, but I also put, I also put a little Smith's sharpener in there and this actual, this little uh, Smith's sharpener actually works really well to sharpen the Hawk Peregrine knife. <clears throat> Um, the rest of my review still stands though. I mean, it's a real solid knife. Um, I actually really do like this, this coating on it. Um, it's just, like I said in the review, it's not very conducive for ferro rod striking. So just a little quick hit on the grinder worked magic here. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, other than that, um, it's just a really solid knife. And I, and I think I'm going to use this as my, my go-to uh, bushcraft survival knife, um, you know, for a little while anyway. <laughs> I've lost the knives, so I gotta swap them in and out. But uh, here, let me show you how the ferro rod works. Here's a piece of wood from uh, my neighbor's yard. It's not, and I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but it does make pretty damn good tinder. So we'll just, uh, we'll scrape off some shavings here. Just get a little pile. We don't. We're not trying to start a huge fire here. <clears throat> so, as I showed earlier, I, I ground this little spot down ever so slightly with a grinder. I'll take my my little ferro rod here. I like doing the pin technique. Boom. One strike, not bad, right? That's after grinding this down. I mean, before that, couldn't get a single spark off of it, but now I can get this tinder lit with one strike, so not bad. So yeah, that's my review. Um, you know, if you couldn't see it very well before, you know, here it is again, the back where I, I ground it down a little bit. But, I mean, sparks just fly off this thing now. And, um, you know, I'm a big fan of the, the Bear Grylls knife. But now with my, my own personal shaving here, I mean, this thing creates way better sparks than the, the Bear Grylls knife does. So, um, like I said, I'm going to use this a little bit more, um, more often now than I use my Bear Grylls knife or even my K-Bar. Um, oh, another thing I want to mention, too, is these three holes here. These uh, really kind of make it solid for, for lashing onto a stick, you know, so you can make a, a, a makeshift spear if you need to in a survival situation, which is, you know, really a handy thing to have. 
Um, you know, I'm a big fan of a K-Bar, but the K-Bar doesn't have that ability to, I mean, you can lash it on there, but not securely with these holes like you can with these holes. The Bear Grylls knife has holes in it too, but, uh, you know, but still, I think this one, this one is a little bit more solid, I think, than the, the Bear Grylls knife. And I also really like, really like the handle, you know, it's got a real... You can really get a good grip on there, get the meat of your hand on there. So, and get your thumb back in here for extra pressure. So, it's just a really good solid knife. So, um, if you want to get one, uh, the links are below in, you know, on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on BauerVersusWild.com, obviously, the links are going to be in the post below this video. Um, if you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Otherwise, talk to you later.